Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about this video on Penguin Zero. Uh, it is a collaboration with Pay Money Wubby. So in a very short period in time, Pay Money Wubby has opened free, free alpha starter decks. Two on his own channel, and then one here with Penguin Z. So this is pretty amazing. I think there is a lot more interest in alpha and beta. I got uh, multiple inquiries from former customers about alpha and beta cards they have sold to me previously. Like I mentioned, I don't really sell cards uh, that much. Um, I just hold on to them and just enjoy them, right? I mean, it's kind of a interesting thing to say nowadays, but I do enjoy having a lot of cards. So it is quite fascinating, in my opinion, that there is such demand for these older cards now, and you can see why. You have huge influencers like Similar to Logan Paul and Pokemon, Penguin Zero is a huge, huge person on YouTube, a huge person on Twitch, and as is Pay Money Wubby. So their combined influencer power is, I think, no less than Logan Paul, and they're pushing Magic the Gathering. So just in a few days, Pay Money Wubby's opened three of these starter kits. Uh, one of them was fake. The other one had a island as a rare, and this one was a little bit better. It had Dart Lace, right? Which is, again, I mean, it's probably on, uh, probably very similar to the Alpha or, or the Alpha Island rare, which is a real thing. And these two are going everywhere, and they're buying. They're just like Logan Paul. I mean, one of the reasons that people believed Logan Paul. Um, was he actually went ahead and he spent his own money. He bought that $3.5 million case of Pokemon First Edition. So it, it wasn't fake. I, in my opinion, it, his passion wasn't fake, right? And Penguin Zero, he loves Magic the Gathering. Pay Money Wubby obviously loves cards and in particular Magic Mondays. He's opened some incredible stuff in the past. Um, just incredible. Like it's Basically, open boosters, but if open boosters had millions of subscribers, right? And they, that's what they're going for. They're, and the crazy part is how expensive this stuff has like gotten in time. It's not cheap anymore, man. It is not cheap anymore. Even when open boosters were opening his starter kits, it's crazy. Uh, when you look at just a few moments, uh, just a, maybe a decade ago, how cheaper those cards are than today. You know, $120,000 for a for this is a lot. You know, Dot Lace, and are you ever going to make your money back, even if you PSA 10? I don't think so, man. I, I think um, it's hard to really, really justify that. So... Yeah, I mean, open boosters. He opened a Alpha Black Lotus. Um, that was pretty insane. And these two, and that has 7.2 million views from nine years ago. If Penguin Zero opens a Black Lotus, it could even be an unlimited Black Lotus at this point. Or pay money, Wubby. If either of these two open a Black Lotus, you're talking about 10, 20 million views overnight. Um, I think a lot of this stuff, and pay money, Wubby has opened unlimited, even unlimited. If you can't afford Alpha Beta, Unlimited might be uh, a very fascinating because a lot of people who don't love magic are now getting into magic. That's why the, the dual lands are like they're skyrocketing into oblivion. Like the Card Kingdom, Star City Games, it's not a joke right now. Um, the influencers are fully, fully behind vintage magic. And if you have some vintage magic, you better keep it um, because I think it's going up in price. I, I almost never tell you like oh buy this buy that like i rarely i'm not alpha investment telling you to buy meta zoo i'm just telling you what is factual here is you have two influencers each of them multiple times larger than alpha investment opening product enjoying product having fun with it grading the product they're having a blast and oh oh by the way underground c is back to 620 dollars buy list on card kingdom <laughs> you know like speak of the devil right um and I'm looking at, you know, these uh, beta cards. They're like 5,000, 4,000. Things are going, even moxes. You know, I I don't know. I mean, Library Alexandria is almost at 1,000 again, $955. The 
The Black Lotus is at 12,600. This is buy list. If, if you are smart, you can get much higher than buy list. I'll put it that way for you. But there is serious interest um, in these cards now, and it's real cash money being driven in. It's influencers, essentially. I mean, these are two mega influencers. They're not anything to scoff at. They're Logan Paul level influencers collabing and buying, you know, buying these things to open. I think that's really, really crazy and kind of. If I didn't have a baby, I would probably go all in on this stuff. Um, I, but I do, so I'm not going to, right? Uh, Unlimited Underground Seas, 1,500. Man, I know, I, I remember when they were like 300 buy, buy list. Like, or they didn't even, weren't even on buy list. City of Traders at 260. Man, I got my cities for like under 40. Like, the price of some of these cards are just so insane. Like, Misha's Workshop and so on. And then you look at, like, this demonic tutor. I think this is alpha, right? From the rounded edges. Uh, no, it might be beta. I don't know. I always get those two confused until, like, I see them. I can compare them. But, yeah, I mean, I have a demonic beta tutor. And it's been, like, everyone's wanted it. It's been the biggest trade bait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is alpha. This is alpha. And... There is such demand for magic cards, especially older magic cards right now, that I don't see that demand. If these two continue to open, and it looks like Moise or Penguin Z, sorry, uh, it looks like Penguin Z is ready to open one of each era. So I wonder what that means. I, I wonder if that's opening Arabian Nights. I wonder if that's opening other stuff. Um, and, and prices are just going crazy. Like I told you, the Underground Sea at 620 is incredible price man that's 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 an incredible price for buy list and you might be and 620 is what you can get for it okay like understand that like you can sell an underground sea for way more than you can get for buy list it's a very liquid card and if you did take this to your um a, a gp like see gp vegas i guarantee you the buy list on underground sea is over 620 probably closer to seven Maybe even eight, you know, it's uh, the sky's limit when you talk about this type of stuff. I, I'm i just shocked and kind of amazed uh, that these, I mean, and it, it makes a lot of sense to me. These two are major, major hitters, right, in um, this space. They can make and break in game. And they decided that, hey, we're going to king make this. And what a crazy time it is to be a Magic player, especially if you have an older collection. You you are just, I, trust me when I say it, you are loving this because um, the cards are just, they're, they're, they're skyrocketing. I, I've I got Underground CS, I, I, that's the one card I track. I've tracked for probably 15, 20 years now. It's never been higher via buy list. Yeah, 